Okay, this is section uh, 16.2, the uh, uh, electric potential. Let's share the the uh, PowerPoint screen. Okay, you're all familiar with the common application of potential difference, the 12 volt battery in a car. A car battery maintains a potential difference across its terminals with the positive terminal 12 volts higher in potential than the negative terminal. In practice, the negative terminal is usually connected to the metal body of the car, which can be considered to be at the, a potential of zero volts. The battery provides the electric current necessary to operate headlights, a radio, power windows, and motors. Think about a charge of a plus one coulomb to be moved around a circuit with a battery and a couple of these external devices. As the charge is moved inside the battery from the negative terminal at zero volts to the positive terminal at 12 volts, the work done on the charge by the battery is 12 joules. Every coulomb of positive charge that leaves the positive terminal of the battery carries an energy of 12 joules. As the charge moves through the external circuit toward the negative terminal, it gives up its 12 joules of electric electrical energy to external devices. When the charge reaches the negative ter terminal, it, uh, its electrical energy is zero again. At this point, the battery takes over and restores 12 joules of energy to the charge as it moves from the negative to the positive terminal, which allows the charge to make another transit of the circuit. As, you, as, as you've seen so far, we often define a point of zero electric potential by grounding or connecting to the earth some point in the circuit. For example, if the negative terminal of the 12 volt battery were connected to ground, it would be considered to have a potential of zero and the positive temp terminal would have a potential of plus 12 volts. This potential difference is only locally defined. Now we will turn our attention to the electric potential of a point charge. As you know, the electric, field of, the electric field of a point charge extends throughout space, so its electric potential does too. The zero point of the electric potential could be taken anywhere, but it is usually taken to be an infinite distance from the charge, far from its influence and the influence of any other charges. So the, electrical, the, the electric potential created by a point charge Q at any distance R from the charge is given by the equation shown here. Uh, from the equation, you can see that the electric potential or work per unit charge required to move a positive test charge in the in, in from infinity to a distance r from the positive from a positive point charge Q increases as the test charge moves closer to Q. The, the plot of this equation shows that the potential the potential associated with a point charge decreases as one over r with increasing r. Remember that the magnitude of the charge's electric field increases as 1 over r squared. The electric potential of two or more charges is obtained by applying the superposition pr principle. The total electric potential at some point p due to several point charges is the algebraic sum of the electric potentials due to the individual charges. Because electric potential is a scalar quantity, it's much easier to evaluate the electric potential at some point due to several charges than to evaluate the electric field, which is a vector quantity. This figure is a computer-generated plot of the electric potential associated with an electric dipole, which consists of two charges of equal magnitude but opposite in sign. The charges lie in a horizontal uh, plane at the center of the potential spikes. The value of the potential is plotted in the vertical dimension. The computer program has added the potential of each charge to arrive at total values of the potential. Let's look at the relationship between electric potential and electric potential energy. If V1 is the electric potential due, due to charge Q1 at a point P, as in the figure on the left, the work required to bring charge Q2 from infinity to, to P without accelerating, without acceleration is Q2 V1. 
By definition, this work equals potential energy of the two particle system when the particles are separated by a distance r, as shown in the figure on the right. So we can express the electric potential energy of the pair of charges as shown in the equation on the far right hand figure. If the charges are of the same sign, PE is positive because like charges repel. Positive work must be done on the system by an external agent to force the two charges near each other. On the other hand, if the charges are of opposite sign, the force is attractive and PE is negative. The potential energy is negative. This means that negative work must be done to prevent unlike charges from accelerating toward each other as they are brought closer together. Okay, let's discuss some problem solving strategies. Here's a problem solving strategy to help you with electric potential problems. Draw a diagram of all charges and circle the point of interest. Calculate the distance from each charge to the point of interest, labeling it on the diagram. For each charge Q, calculate the scalar quantity V. The sign of each charge must be included in your calculations. Sum all the numbers found in the previous step, obtaining the electric potential at the point of interest. Okay, that ends this section. The next section we'll, co we'll cover is 16.3 potential and charge conductors.